Greetings folks, this is a bit of a catch up video and what's coming up on my channel video. First thing you might notice I have these lovely uh, DJI HD FPV goggles here. I bought them for myself uh, for my birthday. I thought I deserved it. I've resisted buying these for quite a while but um, I'm getting sort of offers of, of uh, reviewing uh, cameras that go with this set of goggles and I also have the uh, AR Wing Pro which has a uh, special mount in the nose for the for the little air unit so I thought okay time to bite the bullet and buy myself some of these goggles. I uh, flew them for the first time today and they are absolutely stunning. The, the picture is worth all the money I think. There are a few features that are, are pretty dodgy really. The headband it's okay but there's no spot to hook wires or uh, put your battery in or anything like that the fit the face isn't brilliant um, it's sort of there's light gaps everywhere I guess it's designed so that you can wear glasses while you're flying with them uh, but uh, even though there is light leak the uh, the image is just stunning uh, I'll show you that video coming up very soon actually I've uh, edited that together um, just mind-blowing really real game changer Range isn't stunning with the normal antennas, pretty much the same as normal 5.8, but of course you can put uh, patch antennas and directional antennas and things like that, which I will do in the future and show you all about that. I bought the, the experience version or something like that, whatever it is, I can't remember, but it has the two air units and the goggles themselves, I don't need the controller. Uh, and I've mounted the air unit on my Ranger 1600 like that. Uh, the unit itself gets very very hot so I've made this little plywood uh, support for it so it doesn't melt the foam uh, and you need some way of supporting the antennas like that because they just flop around all over the place just powering it from the uh, balance port of the 4S battery that works very nicely anyway uh, that video is coming up very soon uh, it does come with a case but it's just this you know soft case have to take off all the antennas and fit them in uh, the battery lead is that long. Why? I have no idea. USB-C cable there. Um, so, you know, it could be better, but uh, the image quality is just stunning. Yes, yeah, so as I said, I have the Cadex Nebula uh, Micro here. Uh, this is the silver one with the 12 centimeter cable from Hobbymate. So that review will be coming up soon as well, once I get more familiar with the goggles. I also have this uh, LED programmer sequencer from Muddart RC in New Zealand uh, and I, they also gave me some LEDs so uh, I'll be putting on a light show on one of the planes pretty soon. Uh, Wi-Fi capable um, sequencing, programming, changing colours, all that sort of stuff. Very cool little piece of uh, electronics. I also have a Bugs 12 EIS GPS quad straight from Bugs to review. Um, that will be coming up very soon. Uh, no gimbal on that, just uh, electronic image stabilization. So that'll be good to compare that to previous quads that I've done with the uh, actual gimbals. AR Wing Pro, big crosswind mini here. The Banggood sales are coming up, the 11-11 November sales. Uh, so of course Banggood want people, want reviewers to review as many things as possible. Now, word of warning, now is the time to start looking at prices for anything you want to buy. Uh, check the prices now because they have in the past put the prices up higher, then drop them down to uh, you know not really sale prices. So you really need to be aware of the prices of anything you're going to buy during the sales. Uh, in case they're not really a bargain. Just a, a word of advice. A bit more about the DJI HD goggles too. Uh, you need to activate the goggles and you need to activate the air unit by connecting to the DJI Assistant app on your computer, the FPV version of the app, not the um, Mavic Mini version. You need to solder on power so you can activate it, connect it to your computer via the USB. You need to connect a battery to the uh, goggles so that you can activate them. Then you have to link them together by pushing this tiny little button in there and in the goggles somewhere. Um, so it, it's it's not 
really plug and play. It's a, it's a little bit fiddly to get them going. Once they're going, they are sensational though. You can record 720p in the goggles and uh, 1080 on the unit itself. I would personally prefer to record 4K just using a Runcam, Runcam 2 4K unit. Gives better quality uh, onboard recording, I think, but the FPV experience back to the goggles is just stunning. I also have a little Matex SAM GPS M8Q uh, sensor there to link up to the uh, F722 WPX board, which I'll be demonstrating soon. Lots of good stuff to play with, and that'll do it for the moment. Look out for the um, my review of the goggles. Not really a review, just my first experience of the goggles. That's coming up very soon. Thanks for watching. Oh,